Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. Today uh, we have some interesting news. So some spicy boys have decided to compromise and leak the novel AI models and code along with the raw stable diffusion model. So why is this important? Um, currently, if you want to work with these models, whether it's in a Google Collab, locally, et cetera, basically anything outside of um, a hugging face interface, you have to actually provide an API key that uh, unlocks the ability to do this with the servers at Hugging Face. So that's why, you, weirdly, you have to provide an API key even though you physically downloaded the model. Uh, so downloading the model isn't the raw model. This is. Uh, it's the raw checkpoint files that have been pickled. And there are questions about this. Now, for YouTube, uh, I'm not showing any links to how to get to this, and I do not condone or recommend downloading this. There are a few reasons for that. Uh, we're going to get into that. So one is, um, yeah, this isn't great form. Breaking systems is not great. Um, I do support kind of the anarchist view of making sure that these models are open and that these are not beholden to any one person and that, you know, the idea of AI safety is dangerous in certain contexts. It's very productive in certain instances. I think the points Elon makes in this specific instance are very interesting. I, I won't sit here and say I agree with everything Elon says, but I think his concerns with AI are important. But I like the approach that Midjourney has that's, you know, we'll understand better how people may abuse this if we don't initially lock it down. And locking it down will just incentivize people finding ways of doing this. Uh, Stable Diffusion has had a clever way of making it kind of very easy to accidentally, you know, Google and figure out how to, for instance, remove the NSFW filter. That said, um, the other reason you really shouldn't download this, and we're working on a dedicated video because we've found some examples of this in the wild, are uh, this is super easy to inject malware into, uh, especially since when you unpack pickled files, which pickling is basically a way you can take an AI model and encapsulate it and compress it into a single file that's easily shareable and importantly, pluggable into models. Um, when I used to work on chatbots as an intern, as a CS student in college, it's funny because that was like the biggest problem we had. It wasn't that we couldn't come up with a decent chatbot. It was how do we train this and then push it up into the cloud and turn it on without doing a bunch of heavy lifting and how can you even get it there? Um, so yeah, so it's cool that we've solved this problem. The issue is when you unpickle something, uh, whether or not you're using like raw dependencies or whatever, uh, you're effectively saying, hey, like run all this code, we'll just trust that it's all good. And, um, you know, we'll trust that there's nothing weird in it. And um, granted, there have already been lots of these models, even a lot of ones that show up on Reddit. Um, not all of them, but we found some that have some curious things that do not show up on antivirus and do not show up when you do um, a pickle check, which someone actually did. And they're like, oh no, like I've scanned it all. Like it looks... It looks fine. Uh, now, now, this isn't going to be a video about me saying like, hey, here's how you avoid getting caught by pickle scan. Um, but basically, it's pretty easy to come up with forks of dependencies. And it's just not that hard to hide stuff. So look out for a video on that. Another funny thing is uh, Automatic 11.11, uh, which is probably one of the most pervasive, if not one of the best, it's hard to say best, but one of the most widely used and supported uh, front ends for using Stable Diffusion. Uh, ironically, if you go to their GitHub and you look at what has happened in the last day, uh, you'll see like, oh, like added support for hyper networks, which is specifically an attribute of uh, novel AI. Uh, loading VAE, you know, not, to, not su super dead giveaway, but you said, do not stop working on failed hypersonic network load or hyper network load. And then we see hyper networks mentioned here again, even like just four hours um, ago. So is this a smoking gun? No. Is it a little cheeky? Yes. Because um, technically this, it's just saying, if you have this, then automatic 1111 will work with it. And um, yeah, so I think one person on Reddit shared an image of a bunch of uh, waifu they did. They, generated with this just to show that it was legitimate. Um, that's kind of the news I wanted to go over here. Again, uh, do not download this. Uh, if you want, do so at your own risk. Um, we do not condone this. And 
Yeah, I, I think at a high level, um, what we would suggest if you wanted to run, not this, not these files, but like generally these files safely, um, would be to do it on a dedicated machine on its own VLAN, probably in um, an NVIDIA Docker image. And granted, like doing it that way is easier because the, as many of you know who've done this locally, the, the dependencies to run this properly locally are pretty fragile. And um, yeah, it's sometimes just easier if you run it in a Docker container. Um, in theory, you can isolate some of the networking internally, some of the access locally. The most concerning stuff we've seen, and I won't name the provider, and it's different than a provider I've listed pr previously in this channel. Um, basically, it's one of these companies that's trying to do edge AI on by like farming out to people's machines, not machines they have in data centers. And they said that they've seen some of these System, some of these like packages that are able to escape uh, Quemu VMs and even hop over kind of software-defined networking boundaries they've implemented, which is pretty wild. But then again, it's something that a lot of people are downloading that they don't really understand. And for anyone who in middle school was into unlocking their iPhone or jailbreaking, um, it's something a lot of people don't think about because they're like, oh, well, it's cool and like it's open source and they're just sharing this for the the bottom of their heart and the issue is a lot of times these are really easy ways to load all kinds of stuff on the people's computers um t discussion for another time but uh yeah i hope everyone here has a great rest of their day and has maybe, and has maybe learned something from this video let us know if you'd like something to change let us know what you think about this in the comments if you think this is good if you think it's bad and we will talk to you all soon